Epi Cathedra and crocheting is my passion. Crocheting is my best friend and for me crocheting is therapeutic. I started crocheting back in 2017, December to be specific. I remember there's this guy who introduced me to, not really introduced me but uh, he used to make uh, domats. Domats and kwana tuliauzi. Then there's a time I passed there and kwana stage in Kisumu. So, I found a post he's teaching how to make the donuts for free as long as you buy the Shinano at uh, a certain amount of money. So, I went there, I bought the Shinano and then he taught me how to make uh, the donuts. So, after that, he told me I should go and buy the Uzi now, which I did. But then when I came back, he was like, no, this is not the Uzi I told you to buy. There's a specific type that you should buy. I bought the, I bought the, uh, the, the, the bigger one instead of this type. So I, I, I had to return the Uzi back to the shop, of which I was told, uh, once you buy, there's no returning. So that's when I asked myself, what, what, what can I do with these Uzi? Yeah, so I went to YouTube, I, I googled how to crochet, how to knit and all that and that's when I saw a tutorial on how to uh, crochet for beginners and that's how I, I started crocheting. So at first it wasn't that easy because I didn't, it was so hard for me but I still want, I was so uh, curious to know how to do this and I, I, I really wanted to and after some time I fell in love with it and so come 2018 I started doing it uh, as my business so I project I make a, I, I'll, I will you know like get clients I will post them on my Instagram Facebook uh, I will tell people, like, you know, mouth, uh, by word of mouth, and that's when I started getting clients, and yeah, so that's when my business began. Crocheting for me is, uh, it, it is more than just a business, it is more of a passion, yeah, because, uh, I find I find peace in crocheting. Whenever I feel down, and whether I have a client or not, you just find me. But this is what you do. This is like this is my life. Do you think your content with uh, the crochet business? Yeah. So if I if someone was to come to, uh, and ask you uh, why crochet and not any other business? Because like I say, crocheting was my passion. It's not something like I grew up knowing I would once want to do. But uh, my grandmother, my grandmother, uh, she does, she used to knit sweaters, uh, pullovers, bags, these Giondo bags, and my auntie as well. But I, I never thought like, I, it's something I would want to know because at that time, uh, it, I didn't think I didn't think I I, I will want because I, 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 I for me it looked like a, a, a lot of work and tiring and all that and for me I'm very impatient so I didn't think like I, I will do it but then as, as time went by the moment I started crocheting I found so especially when I'm stressed when I feel down when I'm depressed or something. And then I crochet, I feel so 
I don't know, it's like I'm letting out the, the, the stress that I'm feeling through crocheting. Yeah. I ask him. Yeah. Uh, per month? Per month, I get like, uh, okay, let me say per week. Mm -hmm. Per week, I can get one or two clients. Mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes there are certain sort of there are certain times like you don't get a client in, in a whole month. But then there's a time you get like three clients in a week, four clients in a week. So roughly I get like a four to five clients in a, in a, in a month. Yeah, because mo in fact most, most of my clients they prefer bikinis, uh, skirts, shorts and all that. I've made I've made a uh, uh, bikini set for Naughty Flow, I've made, I've made a cloth for Miss Trudy, Miss Trudy, yeah, and many more, and many more, yeah, so roughly I can say I get like four to five clients uh, in a month, which is not bad at all, given that the, the, the business is not that growing, it is still maturing, okay, yeah. So do you also have male clients? Yes, I do. I have many clients. Most of them, I make sweaters for them, mm -hmm. scarf, uh, short. I made the short, but I didn't take, I didn't take a picture. But I've, mm -hmm. I've made a kofia, mm -hmm. sweaters, and scarves. Yeah. So and this sweater mm -hmm. is one of my work. Yeah. Yeah, I did this back in 2018. Yeah. So, so let me ask, are there any complex designs when it comes to crochet? Yes, they are. Like, let's so say a client comes to you with a difficult design, how do you go about that? So, I'm that kind of a person, I will never say I can't do this. I will, in as much as it might be tough, but I, I, I will still go for it. So, a client might come uh, with a specific design, like, I want this done in this type of way. And then I'm like, yo, I've never done this before. But yeah, I'll be like, yeah, I can do it. So I get the plant and then I start the work. So in case I get to a point where I can't like, it. for example, there's this uh, raffle skirt I made. It was my first time to make it. But then I will, I will Google, I will go on YouTube and check on how to it's made. And finally, it will come out, and I make sure that I get it right the first time, so that I don't uh, like have any sort of conflict with the client. Yeah. But then also, I wanted to talk about the challenges I face in crocheting. You find out, like in the beginning, you might get a client, and then they, you know, they give you their order and all that. So I never used to ask for deposit money. So I just take the measurements for the client and then I start doing the, 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 the cloth. After I'm done, I'll meet up with the client, I'll give up the cloth and then they disappear. They're like, wait, I'll impress you, I'll send you money later. And that's then they go, they disappear, they block you. You know, so it's a challenge, it's a challenge. So it's very important when you're doing this kind of uh, business, make sure you ask the people of it, so that uh, they, they, nobody can run away with your money. Crocheting is not, it's not that hard and it's not that easy as well. It's hard like any other business, any other job, any other work. So it's just not fair when someone goes away with your money. Yeah, so that's one of the major challenges. I have first in this business.